We got Vic, Manx, and the Wraith. Let's do this. Nerd Soul. Late LK at one y'all still holding it down, bringing that street geek and nerd soul. What is up, my people, today? Oh, yeah, coming with another wonderful episode of On Screen. That's right, me, Nerd Soul Light, we're gonna hold it down and give you what you need. Big shout out to everybody who's holding me down on the Patreon side, everyone who's giving on the GoFundMe slash Violator 20 side. Big shout out to all you guys. Thank you so much for your support. Now, that's out the way. We got, we got a couple folks that are embroiled in all kinds of trouble. We got, you know, we got folks going to the past acting up, folks in the future acting up, shrinks acting a fool, and it's all wrapped up in a nice little bow called Nosferatu. And there's a lot going on here, but I'm gonna focus on two things on this app because we're getting closer and closer to the, you know, the finale, and this episode really deals with the two kind of warring factions, if you will. I mean, well, I guess they're not warring yet, but they will be soon. Uh, so first, I'm gonna talk about Vic. Um, this episode really drives home a lot of what's been bothering her, which I, which I like. Um, it's also kind of a step forward into who she's most likely going to be. Um, I, I hate the fact that it's almost like she voluntarily goes in, but of course, they keep using uh, extending her stay as as a punishment. Uh, being in a in a facility that's meant to help you shouldn't be a punishment. You know what I'm saying? It, and like every time she doesn't do what they want, they're like, "Well, you know, we're gonna make you, you know, we're gonna make you stay longer." And seeing her and her resilience through that, because of course, you know, she just wants to cut and run. She wants to get out of there because Maggie's hurt and. Seeing her figure out how to survive in a structure like that where everybody essentially wants to punish you over and over when there are real lives at stake, I gotta commend her for that. I think uh, episode one, Vic wouldn't have been able to handle that. Next up, I think that there is a, a interesting point of her and her conference, uh, not conference, her, uh, I guess her contact and conversation with the shrink is getting a little bit, I mean, she was guarded, but getting a little bit deeper into, you know, her art, the reason she wants to leave, uh, her father, her mother, and the, the turmoil there that's been going on. It has been almost like a, uh, I guess you could say, a, a pain point throughout her life and her reason to want to just kind of like jet off and leave. And I really like the fact that we got to open up on that. We also got to open up a little bit more on her feelings for Maggie, like how much she cares, how quickly they've grown together. And of course, that shared trauma brings them together super fast. But, you know, seeing how she's not even really thinking about herself, she's thinking about getting, you know, getting Maggie well, making sure she's okay. And I also dig the part that kind of leads into the second part after the jump, which is dealing with Jolene and figuring out that, you know, other people have power similar, but you know, it's a different magic trick. And um, seeing how hers works, going on that journey with her will hopefully, I think, help her, you know what I'm saying? Better handle her own power. And I'm excited for that. I'm excited to see how she handles her power from here going out after seeing Jolene handle hers. Also seeing her go to such lengths to help out Jolene and to kind of send her off in her right mind is something that I truly enjoy. So big shouts to Vic. Vic really came through this episode and I'm, I'm proud of her on this one. I'm proud of her. Uh, I feel bad that Maggie has decided to move on and leave, but I think Maggie has done enough to kind of get this ball rolling. Hopefully we see her again, but I definitely understand why she is out. So guys, we got a whole nother thing to get through after the break, Charlie Banks. But first, Cure Brand's gonna help us pay them bills. Oh, 
Oh yeah, check that link below. Hat, shirts, hoodies, all that jazz. Once you find something you like, of course, cop it. Now, Charlie Manx. We get to see the, well, maybe not the young Charlie Manx, but because who knows how long he's really been alive. But, you know, we get to see a younger Charlie Manx. And we get to see a sweet side of him, a different side that maybe we didn't expect, but Jolene definitely referenced and talked about. Something that she was like, you know, when I knew him, he was like this. But in seeing that flashback, you see that she was able to use her power to kind of see where he was going, what he was doing, and those type of things. And it was very weird in her, you know, in, I guess in her mind, like, yo, you telling me you doing this and I ain't seen you, these kids disappearing and stuff. So seeing him to the point where he wanted to, I guess, sort of get married maybe and find a, a woman for these children. But you can also see the underlying craziness, the anger, the the evil that was under it. Um, also, we got to see a little bit more how the power works. Um, when he was attacked by Jolene or the car was attacked by Jolene in the older version or the present now version of Jolene, we saw the second he left the car, he immediately started getting old. And I mean fast. Now, he didn't get old that fast when he went to like the store and stuff like that, but he also had a child in the car at the time when he was doing that. So maybe that's, he always has to have a child to be able to remain young. And Jolene said that he sold his soul. Um, you know, of course, you know, maybe all strong creatives get a chance to do this and, or well, not do this, but use their gift. But if they sell their soul in a way where they utilize their gift for, for evil, for, I guess, personal gain or something like, maybe that's when you get to the point where you're starting to uh, use people for your power to empower yourself and stuff like that. And I thought that was interesting, especially how she was able to kind of mess up the car and hopefully give the bad guys a slight leg up. You know, she said, it'll slow them down. This ain't gonna stop them, but it'll slow them down. Now, back also to before when we were talking about the... <laughs> Talking about Jolene, the young version, yo, the Wraith is ready to run over anybody. And I mean anybody. So whether you're at the sock hop or the dark tunnels, I guess you just better watch your back. But with that said, man, I enjoyed this one. I think we got a, a deeper look into our both, you know, both of our sides. Who's gonna be fighting? What's gonna be going on? Maggie's okay. Hopefully she'll be on the mend. I wanna see her again. Uh, I think she's a great addition to the show, but I also understand why she wants to leave. Like, yo, I, you know, I'm here to like, you know, look for these children and, and I can, I have this ability, but I ain't trying to get run over a car again. You know what I'm saying? So guys, holla at me. I'm going to holla at you. Down in them comments, let's talk Nosferatu. I'm, I'm ready to see what they got next, man. I'm, I'm into this one. I'm, I'm like, okay, cool. I'm sold. We got a little background. Let's see. <laughs> what goes on. Also, I hate shrinks. That dude was such a douche. Really? Like, really? like, well, if you don't tell me your life story, then I guess I'm just going to have to make you stay longer. Like, that's not what this should be about. Like, using the facility as a punishment is not what the facility should be used for. But you know what? I ain't, look, we, hey, we'll talk about that down in the comments, you and I. So, before I bounce, I'm going to tell you guys to hit up thatnerdsoul.com. That's right. Check me out right there. All my videos from the oldest, newest, latest, greatest, and all that. They hit up shop com and pick yourself up a t-shirt player. Don't forget to get one for them players. Then come back here, like, comment, subscribe, and share that nerd soul. That's right. There's no better way that I can show people that you like what you are watching. So, LA, what up? VA, what up? RVA, you got my heart. And please be good to yourselves. Please be good to each other. And remember, you guys stay real. You guys stay raw. And remember, keep your head on a swivel when there's a wraith around. Peace.